Okay, we'll start off at the Hunter River at Luskintyre Bridge. I'm standing on the bridge at the moment, here comes the truck. Um, I've actually swum in this river and touched the bottom when I was swimming on it. Swimming in it. Look how she's flowing now. It's overflowed out over there at one spot. Once this truck goes past, I'll show you the other side. Go over the other side, you can see where it's overflowed over that side. And there's just crap flowing everywhere. Over that side where those trees are, there's normally four wheel drives running up and down sand dunes like the one up the back there. Completely full. Alright, we'll go and check out Maitland. Used to be Veterans Flat. That is normally all grass and fields, and that's normally a widely used cricket pitch. It ain't anymore. Not for a while, anyway. Just turning left to head into Lawn, going over the Belmore Bridge. This is at the uh, Hunter River at Maitland. Holy crap. That is ridiculously high. That line of trees is obviously where the normal water bank is. We'll go around and come back. So here we are going back the other way over the Belmore Bridge. water absolutely everywhere. The, um, the levee banks have done their job, they're lucky they've put that retaining wall in. They've closed the New England Highway bypass to Maitland, so we'll see if we can duck around the back and see what we can find. Coming down the Ken Tubman Drive, this is the last bit of vet veteran, veterans flat. As you can see, that's pretty waterlogged. Water's come right up here. That's all normally paddocks, horse paddocks. We want to hook you up at Stephen Kim's Ugly Betty Ball. Only your new Sabella Style Cut comes with a free luxury pamper session, including an intensive Goldwell hair treatment and a hair. We are going back over to Veterans Flight again. That's the kind of service I usually have to give to the VIPs. I feel so in Talara now on the uh, western side of Maitland. Over there, on the other side of that power pole there, is supposed to be Talara Lagoon. That's meant to have water in it. That's the road that's normally there, right there. And this has never usually got water in it. This is not part of Talara Lagoon. It should be, uh, it's normally just dry fields. 
It's like over there. So this is still Talara Lagoon. It's where the lagoon is over there. It's supposed to be. The road's cut just beyond that. But this is where uh, the access road into Talara from Maitland Hospital is. It's all still flowing fairly well on the look of it. And this is um, Maitland's Holden dealership, just here. Much more rain and it would have got a bit wet. Here we are at Melville Ford. That sign kind of says it all. Not much left of anything, we're about two or three kilometres upstream of Maitland. Um, the Belmore Bridge. <coughs> After I wander down here, as you can see, it's running pretty well. And uh, yeah, the road goes over a little bridge just there, right across the other side. I don't think that's going to be very healthy at the moment. It's been rebuilt many, many times though. Still at Melville Ford. My mate's fence has been dropped by the pressure of the water flowing over it. That's all running down here in the Ford. That's F J O I D. Quite fast. There must be a fair bit of water in there for to run that fast for this long. Closer than this, but um, she's just racing along, and there should be a bridge that goes over to about where that gate is over there. Bridge is supposed to run straight along there and go up there. So she should be in pretty bad shape right about now. It's all overflowed up to here. A long way back up here. 